Alright, so here we've got my uh, Tamarack Angler. Mine's a 2013. These are all the mods I've done to it. So starting up front, I've had to replace the uh, rope. So this is paracord. Great for 600 pounds. Never gonna snap it. A lot stronger. Looking down here, I've got anchor trolley. I got elastic at the front. It just takes some of that impact. And then I got some carpet right here. It's like felt that you put them on the bottom of chairs. And that's to stop a hole slap. Because I mean, in really rough seas, which I do go out in, I used to get hole slap, a lot of it. So I got anchor. It's just wrapped around a pool noodle. Obviously, when I'm sat in my chair, that's where it'll be. And then I'll pull it at the front. Works great. It's obviously all stainless, alloy. You got the little float if you ever need to disconnect and go chase down a fish, which has happened for me with sharks. And then I've got another one. Obviously, this is the back side of it. And I've got another one at the back. I actually almost never use this one because I hate facing backwards into waves. But same principle. This one's really small. But I like to see where I'm going, so I almost never use that one. Then yet again, this one snapped when I was out and this was the paracord that I had with me. So then up front, I've changed the bungees because factory one stretched out and the crap anyway but I just got some hooks that's where I just put my cooler or I put my tackle box sometimes if I got my cooler in the back and right here I got my bubble box I got live shrimp or whatever in there usually but I get strapped down because like I said I do go out in rough seas so I just got a connection right there going up and over and then an eye I've, I've gooped all these to stop it. This makes it completely waterproof. I got the little ice rod, and then I got my fish finder right here. So let me hop in the seat. Got the fish finder. I 3D printed a uh, sunshade for it because I live in Florida and it's sunny as can be. And then I got the uh, mounts coming through, the wires. This was extra from something I cut. I just get mounted on that, but it's removable. Oh, you don't need to see that. But this works great. Uh, what else have I done? I replaced these hatches. The factory one sucked. They just leaked. So, that's my dry box. It's got the battery in it usually. So, I've got the wires running up to it for the uh, power. And then, obviously, the transducers in the back. Um, so, that's what this wire is running to the back. This one's for the uh, bilge pump. I got a bilge pump on this thing. But these these uh, hatches, they're like ten dollars, but they're completely waterproof. I just pop ripped them in. They're actually a little bit bigger than the factory ones, so they work great for getting your hands in. That's that. They just twist down. Completely waterproof. And then the best part of this is. I didn't like the factory seat, it used to always give me backache, so I got rid of that. I found the stadium seat in Walmart. I've had this thing a while now. It is normal metal and it is a bit rusty, but I only fish in salt water and it works great. Uh, I just wash it down with a hose pipe when I get back. But you can't fall out this thing because I got a uh, mount at the front and it's just a little bit of paracord running up and then. Obviously, because I mean you're paddling, so it's mounted down. You'll never fall out of this thing. And then, yeah, that's a better view of it. Except for being able to lean backwards. And then, obviously, this isn't factory. I put a uh, bigger hatch on here because I used to have a trolling motor and aluminum outriggers. If you want to check that out, that's in some of my other videos. And it sounds like your neighbor's cutting the grass. Alright, I'll give it a bit of a break till my neighbour's quit cutting his grass. I think I was on this hatch. Alright, so I put this hatch in because like I said, I used to have a trolley motor and I had outriggers and then I had the uh, trolley motor on one side and I made myself some lithium batteries. 
uh, I have a video on that. I can't remember. It was three series. I don't know how many parallel. I think it was like 25 in parallel. But it worked great. Weighed like 14 pounds and lasted all day. But I used to put the batteries in here, keep them out of the way. You can see it's still the Velcro. So I'd have one there, one on the other side, and I think I had one back there. I can't remember. But I wired them all in series inside the hole. It has rained and I do leave my hatches open to air out, otherwise my kayak smells. So that's why there's water in here. Rained last night. But that's that hatch, not that interesting. See, see the cable running back for the transducer, which I'll show you in a bit. But this one's totally waterproof, by the way. That's why I have the stainless steel bolts on either side, just to nip it down a bit more. But this works great because you can put big things inside the hole. But moving back further, Got rods on either side. These are some random rods I grabbed. Uh, pliers, which usually I have in the back of that chair, but sponge for when I need to drain anything out or wash anything if I'm camping. Uh, put my phone and wallet in here. It's just velcroed down, but I've also got clips mounting it to the uh, kayak. Just gives it a bit more flexibility. And then I got my crate. Honestly, never use this crate, but I thought I'd put it on for the video because it looks cool. I got my shark rig in here actually. Got a big hook. Anyway, I almost never use that. I usually just put my uh, a little tackle box back there, honestly. Uh, got these because I fish off the beach a lot most of the time actually. All intercoastal. Uh, as you can see, actually, this is where I used to. This was for the uh, outriggers, if you see on my older videos. I've since took them off because I never go offshore anymore. But this is where I used to mount the uh, connections, positive and negative, for uh, the trolling motor. They're all in waterproof connections. Uh, let me pull this stuff off real quick. You can see it there. Alright. So we got another one of these. Like I said, they're a lot better because they're waterproof. I'll be smashing through waves going out and surf and I don't get any water in. Alright, so there's the transducer. I just got mounted in with goop. Uh, it's the best stuff for this because it's... I've had this thing in forever. It's never come off. It even tells you the correct water temperature. Comically, because it's reading the temperature of the kayak, so... Yeah, and then back there is the uh, bilge pump. I just get running up, I get it doing a U, so no water can leak back, but it pumps the water out there. And long story short, I went out in a really bad storm one time. Uh, my kayak almost sank. I probably had 30 gallons of water inside the hole. I was like three miles offshore, so after that I installed a bilge pump. So that orange dry box that you saw earlier actually inside this hatch oh is where the switch is. It's right there. So you just press it. I don't have the battery in it right now, but I also have a two amp hour NICAD. Uh, it's a nickel metal hydride battery actually, not a NICAD. But it's just a push switch. And I actually got uh, some plastic over it just to make it extra waterproof. It is waterproof, but the plastic degrades if you don't do that, I found. So yeah, I think that's everything on this bad guy. 10 out of 10, the best mods that seat, because uh, after paddling all day, the old seat used to hurt my ass and my back, but that new one's great. So yeah, that's uh, everything. Mod list for the Tamarack Angler.